If you're feeling distant from your partner, the one question I most often ask my students is, when was the last time the two of you went away on a trip alone, just the two of you, without the kids or friends? Often the reply is, oh, it has been so long that I don't remember or it has been such a long time. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. Here are a few things you need to do starting today to increase the closeness between you and your partner. If you have watched some of my other videos, you'll know I talk a lot about spending a minimum of 30 minutes a day talking with your partner. This invites connection, closeness and love. When your partner gets home from work or any extended time away from you, when they enter the door, give them a minimum 10 second kiss and a 20 second hug. This will set the scene and mood for the rest of the night. You need to do this before kissing and cuddling your kids or pets. You and your partner need to go on a date night at least once a week, even if it's just for coffee. Once every three months, you need to get away for at least a weekend to spend quality time together, reconnect and rediscover your love. Once every year, you need to go away for at least a week for the same reasons. If you have watched my video on how to know when your relationship is in trouble, you'll know I briefly talk about the lack of talking, time and touching. The above solves the talking and timing issues. Now let's talk about touch. Many men only touch their partner when they want sex. Guys, this is a huge no-no. A woman wants you to hold her hand, stroke her, cuddle her, kiss her, touch her hair as you walk by, write her love notes and be romantic. She also wants you to show that you are proud that she is your partner and nothing comes close to her. If she is keeping distant, it could be the way you are talking with her. Are you cold, abrupt, harsh and judgmental? And likewise with you, ladies, towards your man. If your partner was the sexiest, most wonderful lover and best person in the whole world, how would you treat them? Being judgmental is one of the biggest killers of communication. This is where many parents lose their children. Also, being indifferent, having no empathy, sympathy, respect or care for how your partner is. Some cultures treat their partners more like objects than human beings and wonder why they have a cold, distant, bitter partner at night. Treating your partner with dignity and decency goes a long way. If you find yourself having any of these as your main trait, you need to begin to alter your attitude, otherwise you will join the statistics of 50% of first marriages ending in divorce or having a lonely, empty marriage. Guys, you know when your wife or girlfriend is angry at you because they get the creepy crawlies when you try to touch them. This is a huge sign that many men miss. If you notice this, then it is up to you, through persistence, to find out what is bothering her and to do whatever it takes to rectify it and apologize. I cover this in more detail in my programs. Another thing to consider, and this is more of a male tendency, though some women are like this, is if your partner is controlling. Your partner may say it is because they love you and want to protect you. No, it is their insecurity that is showing, which is very unattractive to either of the sexes. If you find yourself being a control freak, then get help and give your partner the freedom they deserve. If you are in a relationship with someone who is controlling, there could be several reasons for this, some being a. You need to build up their confidence and self-esteem or b. They are so insecure that they require therapy and self-improvement or c. They could be hiding something or d. They don't want to come across as failures or a. They could be a narcissist or sociopath, in which case the relationship cannot last long term and you may be better off moving out and ending that relationship. I know several women who have been abused and I understand that sometimes it seems impossible to leave. Men too, more than ever before, are being abused by their female counterpart. I trust this video gets to you before it gets to that level if your relationship is heading in that direction. I have had clients who were narcissistic and one threatened to beat me up via text. Another man came in to see me who was high on ice and pretended to cry in front of me, which I didn't buy only to fail to show up for his next appointment. I have had couples come to see me where I later found out that one partner was physically abusive. 
when they found out I knew, they then stopped coming for therapy sessions. In each of these cases, if you are even close to anything like this, man or woman, I recommend getting whatever assistance you need to be safe. Having watched many true crime stories on YouTube, I recommend anyone who walks or works alone, especially at night, to take up some self-defense. My favorite, which I will start learning once I move to Europe to be with my wife, is called Krav Maga. From my knowledge and understanding, it is one of the best forms of self-defense. Not only will you learn to defend yourself, yet you will also gain discipline, fitness, and improved overall health as a result. Another thing that creates distance between couples in a relationship is being competitive. If you are the competitive type, leave that for outside of your relationship. Okay, that is it for this lesson. I trust you have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information, click on one of the other videos at the end here or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women or Awaken Her Passion, A Course for Men. I go into more detail with this information in them. You receive a full 30 day money back guarantee and get to listen to two thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you so click on the link in the description box. I trust to chat with you in our undergraduate Facebook group.